Hello everyone, I'm Jessica Kramer with MRC TV, and today we're joined by a parent, Joe Bayer, who decided to rally with other parents outside the Ohio State Capitol in Columbus to show lawmakers their support for Catholic schools remaining open this upcoming academic year. Hello, Joe. Thanks for joining. Hi, Jessica. How you doing? Thanks for having me. I'm good. Um, so today we just kind of want to start out by asking you, what made you decide to want to rally? Well, I just I feel very strongly that uh, we need to make sure that we're taking into consideration not only the the health of our children, but also from a physical standpoint, for all, but also from a mental standpoint. And, you know, being in school, uh, participating in those types of activities that that school age children uh, are used to participating in and should be participating in is that that's something we need to make sure that we're we're as focused on as we are getting this pandemic under control. Yeah, I, I've seen that the majority of Catholic schools are actually opening with in-person classes, including here in the Diocese of Arlington. Um, but in Ohio and Kentucky, the governors are not supportive. What are you hearing and how are the schools working to alleviate their concerns? Yeah, so what we're hearing right, well, right, right now, as of this moment, the Catholic schools are planning five-day return. So we, we do have that working in our favor. Uh, but we are hearing that there's been a lot of pressure that's being applied to the local diocese and the principals of the schools uh, by teachers unions uh, and, and by the local governments, because, as you can probably imagine, most parents in public school situations are asking the question, why can't we do it if they can't? Exactly. So really, the point of the rally had two had two objectives. One, make sure that we're heard, make sure that we understand that the local lawmakers are, are on board with the message we're trying to deliver, and also in some ways to thank them, show them our appreciation for uh, standing up to the pressure that they're, that they're, that's being applied to them uh, by, by these uh, entities. It's so funny that you said that because I was actually going to ask you um, if you think private schools remaining open should make public school officials and school boards think twice about closing public schools and moving yeah. so much learning online. I think so. And, and so we're seeing a spike, uh, a massive spike, actually, in applications for the private schools. The Catholic schools are seeing uh, folks that are, are flocking to uh, to try and get their kids into a five day program, I mean, obviously for various reasons. But, yeah, it's going to have a massive impact and, and it should be something that the public schools are paying really close attention to. And, and, it, and they definitely are. Yeah, I was going to ask you, do you think. Um I think it's interesting that so many public school parents are actually considering enrolling their kids in private schools, um, especially religious schools. Now, do you think that that's going to affect the environment at the religious schools if a lot of parents who might not be committed to the faith of the school um, are not in support of the faith at home? Gosh, what a great question. You know, there's definitely been some conversation to that end, right? So are, are we, should we be concerned? Um, you know, being people of faith in the diocese and Catholic schools, and that that's the reason that we're spending that money, right, is to get that level of education for our kids. And will, will the outside influence that you're going to see from these students that are coming to school for this specific reason change and dilute that, that experience? Um, on the one hand, you could take that position. On the other hand, I mean, this is, these, these schools are, are there for a reason, and that's to help help students, help young people, give us an opportunity to bring some of these folks into uh, the school environment with, with a Christian theme and, and allow us to, in some ways, become part of those children's lives, maybe for the better. So I think you could argue both ways that, that, that it could be a good thing or a bad thing. But, but generally speaking, I think having, having folks want to come to Catholic schools isn't necessarily going to be a bad thing. Yeah, I think a lot of, um, at least conservatives, have been kind of joking that more homeschooling and private education is probably better for most American kids. Um, yeah. And just last question, um, what kinds of protocols, if any, do you think should be put in place for this upcoming year? Based on the statistics, and again, I'm not an expert. I'm, I'm just another, another guy trying to make his way through the, through the maze of numbers. But based on the statistics, I think the protocols should be minimal, frankly. I think that... The requirement to wear masks uh, is is unnecessary. I think that if they're checking temperatures at the door, if they're paying attention for symptoms, if they're uh, the kids are, are using hand washing and hand sanitizing protocols, and that they're remaining six feet from one another, personally, I believe you know based on the fact and the statistics that are telling us that 
you know, the children are the least in, in, uh, the least affected by this. They're the least likely to pass it to other people. Uh, and again, I'm talking about, you know, eighth grade and below type ages. Uh, I, I think that really going overboard with masks and face coverings and, and keeping them from one another while they're at a while they're on campus, I think all that could could have an adverse effect. So uh, really, in my opinion, they should minimize that. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. I really do appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you, Jessica. Really appreciate you having me on. All right. Thanks.